15 seconds. Earthquake, no shaking expected. Is how much time it took what could have been the potentially violent red shear wave to reach the most densely populated city in the state. This wave hit Seattle. 15 seconds of warning during this playback from the alert that went out shortly after 3 a.m. Uh, and you'll see that time show up here. The expected intensity of shaking, too, is very light shaking. The quake, a magnitude 4.1, it happened in the middle of the Olympic National Park, but it wasn't up in the Olympic Mountains. It was 27 miles underground, which is why it didn't do any reported damage. Because it's so deep, that's one reason why this one, even though it was a sizable earthquake, was not felt strongly. Paul Bowden manages the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network, and the depth of the quake indicates that it was in the slab of ocean floor that is being pushed under western Washington. You can see it, that slab showing up in this matrix painted from all of those other quakes recorded since 1970, <laughs> including the damaging 2001 Nisqually quake, which was also deep and would have been much worse had it been closer to the surface. Here's an example of something. Earthquake. And while we're talking, another shake alert comes in it's in real time. So that's earthquake. That's an earthquake early warning, and and uh, it's for an earthquake. I can tell you in California, because it's 400 second. Where are you? Here it is. In this case, even if the waves reached us, we would have had 10 minutes of warning. But even seconds count, from seeking protection under a table to slowing down a train or stopping surgery. This time, the quake is in Mexico, just south of the California border. Oh, wow, 5.7, that's serious, that's serious stuff. Another sign that the shake alert system developed by Washington, Oregon, and California is working. At the University of Washington, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.